Hi, it's Brandon Split from ThirstGym.com, and today we're going to talk about an exercise called the Offset Kettlebell Front Rack Split Stance Low Cable Row. A mouthful of words, but here's what we're going to do. You're going to need a cable machine and a kettlebell, and the primary goal of this activity is to improve our upper body strength and keep our abdominals engaged while in a good athletic stance. So I'm going to need a kettlebell here. It doesn't need to be super heavy. It needs to be something that's going to reinforce good movement. So you don't want something extra light, but the goal is to not max out. Find a good moderate uh, load that you can hold in a front rack position. So in this case here, I've got about a 25 pounder. Hand's going to go around the bell. Uh, my hand is going to come towards my face. I'm going to punch myself in the chin. That's going to create a good front rack. So kettlebells on the outside, hands towards my chin, elbows relatively forward. It's not up like this. Okay. The goal is to not make my shoulder support the weight. The goal is to make my abdominals do some work, open up the backside. Then what we're going to do, we're going to grab the cable here. I'm going to set this down real quick while I grab it. And then what we're going to do is I am going to take the kettlebell here in my front rack position. And in more cases than not, we'll talk about some specifics here in a minute. Whatever leg I have the forward, that's the leg I have the cable in. I'm going to take the kettlebell side. Get in a split stance, bring this forward. Should feel the backside part of my butt on my left leg or my up stance leg. Cable's low, and now we gotta do is row. So the goal here, get long on the rowing arm, use that kettlebell to stay forward. Should feel abs, should feel legs, should feel back. And then I would switch sides. Okay, so I'm gonna switch sides here just for the demo purposes. Here, down, row. Okay, then what we're after here is the kettlebell side. What's happening is that's forcing me to turn towards my up stance leg. So kettlebell is in the right side, left leg is gonna be up. That forces me to turn, open up my backside, gonna feel a lot of glutes and quads as I hold that position. Again, it lines me over it, but then the cable, as I row, I'm actually gonna pull myself into that turn more. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna help me open up the backside of my butt, improving range of motion while still getting lats, abs, all that great stuff. So there's just a lot going on here for this exercise. But the goal is to have that low. So as it's low, one, that makes me heavy on that front foot, but I'm also be able to find my heel. I'm literally gonna have to push myself away because it's pulling me. If I don't, then the cable is gonna pull me over my leg, right? So I'm literally pushing myself backwards, letting me find my heel on that front leg, keeping my abdominals engaged, chest is tall, and then I can row and then pull myself into that new range of motion that I'm creating. It's ultimately gonna help me improve my hip range of motion, my shoulder range of motion, abdominal strength, back strength, lots of good stuff going on. So this is just a really big bang for your buck exercise that gets a lot accomplished with one simple move. Now, on your programming side, you're probably gonna use three, maybe four sets of anywhere from probably eight to 12 reps on each side. And again, I can't stress this enough, the kettlebell just needs to be heavy enough to provide some good external load to reinforce what we want. Again, don't max out the kettlebell. Attempt to max out the cable machine with your rowing I think you'll find that as long as this is a good weight, this is not going to be as heavy as you think it's going to be. It's still going to be taxing. It's not going to be like a dumbbell row taxing. Um, you're probably going to have significantly less weight than that, but you're going to feel that good quality range of motion from the rotation side to the hip mobility and overall good quality body mechanics and helping you move better. So lots going on. Got any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Thanks. Have a great day.